Biomod is a design competition for undergraduate students, and it's a unique competition in that rather than designing a solar-powered car or a business plan, the students are charged with designing nanoscale devices out of biomolecules, such as DNA and proteins. And we have over 100 students coming from all over the world, um, from countries including Germany and China and Japan. And the students have worked all summer uh, on their devices and the things that they're trying to build. And they're, they're coming to Boston to present their work um, at the competition this Saturday, um, November 5th. DNA nanotechnology is an area of research that was pioneered by NYU professor Ned Seaman uh, over the last 30 years. And the idea is to use the properties of DNA that make it useful as an information storage molecule in cells in our bodies to also use it as a building block to construct nanoscale tools and devices. Um, for many years, researchers actually built DNA nanostructures out of many short strands of DNA. And about five or six years ago, um, Paul Rodeman, a scientist at Caltech, figured out that we can actually build structures with um, much more uh, complexity and um, larger dimensions if we use a long single-stranded template and then staple that together with a bunch of short strands. So Paul published this paper as a cover story in Nature in 2006, and this is the famous uh, DNA smiley face was part of that paper. So he, he demonstrated really amazing positional control um, using DNA nanostructures. So one of the goals of the field of DNA nanotechnology is to create useful devices out of DNA. And some of the first tools that we're going to see coming out of the field and that we've already seen are scientific tools. So exploiting this exquisite positional control to make measurements on the, nanos on the nanometer scale of, of proteins and cells, for example. Um, in the future, we hope to use the same building blocks to make more sophisticated devices that could serve as cancer therapeutics or um, biosensors, diagnostics, so things that are related to human disease. The teams are stationed in, you know, at their different universities um, and they work, they find mentors um, locally and work in their labs over the summer and so it's a very open-ended competition, so we don't, we don't really make any prescriptions for what they're supposed to build or what materials they're supposed to do it with, other than they're supposed to use biomolecules. Several teams have been working on prototypes for drug delivery vehicles. Other teams have worked with proteins to make uh, molecular walkers and other molecular robots. Um, and actually, if you want to see what the teams have done in more detail, you can visit the Biomod website, and all the team abstracts are available, um, linked off the front page.